Now we are ready to start talking about algebraic systems or algebraic structures. The definition of an algebraic structure is that the structure consists of a set S and one or more operations that are closed under S. Being closed under S means that the answer when we do operations on the elements will also end up in the set S. One example of an algebraic structure is computing modulo m. The definition of this is as follows. The set of integers modulo m, which we denote by z sub m, and the two operations addition and multiplication, they are defined as z m is the set of all the integers from 0 up to m minus 1. Then addition modulo m, as we're going to call this operator, is defined as a plus b equals the remainder when a plus b is divided by m. And similarly for multiplication, we say that a times b, so we have multiplication modulo m, is the remainder when a times b is divided by m. So the corresponding algebraic structure here we can write as z sub m the operation addition modulo m and the operation multiplication modulo m. So this is one way to denote this algebraic structure. So let's look at an example for Z6 where we have addition modulo 6 and multiplication modulo 6. The set of integers here in Z6 is the set consisting of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So if we look at the addition modulo 6, we can define this as follows. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And also here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So if we fill this table out, so 0 plus 0 modulo 6 will be 0, and if we add by 0, we will just get the same number back. So we can also fill this one out immediately. Now 1 plus 1 equals 2, 1 plus 2 equals 3, 1 plus 3 equals 4, 1 plus 4 equals 5, 1 plus 6, on the other hand, when we divide this by 6, we will get the remainder 0. 2 plus 1 will be 3, 4, 5, and again, 2 plus 4, which is 6. When we divide this by 6, we will get the remainder 0. 2 plus 5 equals 7. When we divide this by 6, we will get the remainder 1. So, similarly, we can fill out the rest of the table here immediately. So, 5 plus 1 is then 0, and then... We continue to 5 plus 5 is 10 divided by 6, the remainder will be 4. Let us do the same thing for the multiplication table. So here we have multiplication modulo 6. Again, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And now we have multiplication instead, and when you multiply by 0, we will always get 0. So these can be trivially filled out. When you multiply by 1, you will get the same number back, so these can also be trivially filled out. Now 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6. Dividing by 6, we will get the remainder 0. 2 times 4 is 8, so this will be 2. 2 times 5 is 10, so the remainder when we divide by 6 is 4. And we can fill this out the same way. And for 3, 3 times 3 is 9, so here we will have a 3. 3 times 4 is 12, this will be 0. And 3 times 5 is 15, this will be 3 again. So here we will also have 0 and 3. 4 times 4 is 16. If we divide this by 6, we will have 4 as a remainder. And if we take 4 times 5, we will get 20. If we divide this by 6, we will get 2 as the remainder. So same for 4 times 5. And finally, 5 times 5 is 21. 
and if we divide this by 6, we will get the remainder 1.